All right, guys. Uh, today we're putting in a a man a P tack through the wall sleeve with the drain external drain uh, kit. And I want to show you a couple things where I pretty much screwed up and had to redo a few things. But uh, first time I ever put one of these sleeves and everything through the wall. Basically, we've got a little office here getting remodeled <clears throat> and uh, it's uh, inside of a equipment building but what we got here is uh, this is the external drain kit now what it does basically all it does is let you remotely drain any uh, condensation that forms in the pan from the unit catches it in here. That way you can hook a hose to it and take it to a floor drain or condensation pump or whatever you want to do. But the instructions are kind of vague on how to do this. You can kind of see what we're dealing with here and you want that level that way all the uh all the water in the pan migrates to this hole and uh from what amana says they want three quarters of an inch of water in that pan there so do not remove that plug that plug right there do not remove that plug it says and that's what the guy said too he said you don't want to remove that because they want Three quarters of an inch of water in there, and then whatever comes out that hole will uh, drain into the, uh, there's one on each side, into this pan, or the wall sleeve, and then go down that hole. Out the hole, into the fitting, into the fitting, into the hose, into the hose, into the condensation pump, or into a floor drain. So, another thing is, <clears throat> on the, uh, louver installation here you got several different things they got wind baffles and everything else now you got to make sure you follow the right instruction because I, I didn't and i had to sing it backwards so it said to manipulate the grill through the inside which is kind of true in a sense but uh yeah anyway the grill there it is so Basically, you got six of these little clips and some screws. And the screws actually go in from the inside. Now, I didn't know that. That's my first time doing this one. So, but anyway, you hold that handle from the inside and you line up these pegs right there. And it fits in that hole down here. And then you screw it from the inside. So hang on a minute and I'll uh, get that, show you how that works. All right, guys, what they want you to do is put it through the inside to the outside. Say we're on a fourth floor building or something. And that way you can do this one handed. Then you want to line up your pins on both sides, which can be tricky. And that's that. So then you just put your screws from the inside right there into the grill. So, huh, who'd have thunk it? I'll tell you what, guys, if you've never done one of these things, the uh, it's, it's almost a struggle. But anyway, uh, I'm figuring it out step by step. Again, if you have problems, contact customer support. They will try to help you out as best they can. But yep. So anyway, I'll pick it up here in just a minute. All right, guys, I got all the screws in there. And now you just kind of take this uh, handle out. Probably easier from the other side. And uh, slide your unit in there and you're done. Grip your hose. 
it's kind of a pain guys so I don't know we'll see how how it goes that's the way the instructions showed it we'll see but anyway thanks for watching I know it was kind of a shitty video but I'm trying to learn here as we go it's a uh, every day's a learning curve so you gotta keep it keep on keeping on that's it guys I'll slide this unit in there we'll see what it looks like all right guys that's it finished product looks just like a p-tac unit doesn't it wait for the electrician to show up and get the wiring done and all that good stuff there you go that's it guys thanks for watching we'll catch you next time See ya.